Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Barkis Soft Thermology Tutorials. Today we will discuss about Jackson's Cross Cylinder. So this Jackson's Cross Cylinder is used to refine the axis and the power of the cylindrical lenses. Remember it is only used to refine, means before only you should determine the power and the axis of the cylinder of that particular patient by other means of refraction. Then you start using this Jackson's Cross Cylinder to further refine on the axis and the power of the cylindrical lens. So this is a toric lens which was popularized by Edward Jackson and hence named as Jackson's cross cylinder. This Jackson's cross cylinder is made up of cylindrical lens as well as the spherical lens. The power of the cylindrical lens will be twice that of the power of the spherical lens which is used and of the opposite side. So in this example if you see they have used 0.5 diopter spherical and minus 1 diopter cylinder. So that will give a net effect of 0.5 diopter cylinder in one axis. Okay and the plus 0.5 cylinder effect in the opposite 90 degree axis. So this is how it works. So it has two superimposing cylindrical lenses of equal power but of opposite sign with their axis at right angles to each other. It has a handle to hold the lens which is placed 45 degrees away from one of the axis of the cylinders. And this Jackson's cross cylinder is available in two powers that is 0.5 diopters and 1 diopter power. So what are the indications for these two? One diopter cross cylinder is used to check the axis and power of the cylindrical lens which is used in patients with poor visual acuity whereas 0.5 diopter cross cylinder is used to check the power of the trial lens in patients with good visual acuity. So what are the indications for this Jackson's cross cylinder? As I told it is used to refine the axis and power of the cylinder which is given and secondly it can be used to confirm the absence of the cylinder when we are doing refraction. Coming to the procedure I will be explaining with the help of video. As you can see this is the Jackson's cross cylinder. You can see two red dots and two white dots. The two red dots correspond to the axis of the minus cylinder and two white dots correspond to the axis of the plus cylinder. You can also appreciate the dioptric power which is written on the handle. Okay, The handle is placed 45 degrees away from the axis of the cylinder. Whenever you want to use the Jackson's cross cylinder, always check for the axis first, then go for checking the power. So now how to refine the axis of the cylinder using Jackson's cross cylinder. So in this example suppose this patient has accepted minus 0 0.75 cylinder at 180 degree then you ask the patient to wear the correction, occlude the right eye and ask patient to look at the um, visual chart that is the Snellens chart two lines above the best corrected visual acuity. Suppose this patient is seeing 6.6 with a minus 0.75 cylinder then ask patient to concentrate at one of the letters of 6 per line okay after that you use the Jackson's cross cylinder so to check the axis always make sure that the handle of the Jackson's cross cylinder corresponds with the axis of the cylinder okay so the handle is placed at 180 degree okay then ask patient to look at the chart again and concentrate on the letters then flip it this process of turning the Jackson's cross cylinder is also called as flipping. Hence, this procedure is known as flip cross procedure also. Okay. So, then flip it. Then, then ask patient which side he is preferring. Okay. Suppose this patient is preferring this side. Then note what is the sign of the cylinder which you have used. Accordingly, you should move the lens. Okay. So, the, now the sign is minus 0.75. So, move the cylinder towards the red dot. So, patient was preferring this side. So, move it. 5 degrees towards the red dot okay then again repeat the procedure again the axis of the cylinder will coincide with the axis of the trial lens then same procedure flip it okay ask which side patient is preferring if the patient is seeing on both the sides same image means there is no gross difference on both the sides then it indicates that you have found out the correct axis so this is how you refine the axis of the cylinder so to refine the axis now you have learned that you have to move the trial lens according to the sign of the lens okay suppose in this patient using minus 0.75 cylinder you will have to move the lens towards the red dot okay then how much you should move 
that depends upon the power of the trial lens suppose the patient is having less than 0.25 diopter cylinder then you can move up to 30 degree and then recheck if it is 0.5 diopter cylinder it is 15 degree if it is 0.75 diopter cylinder move the trial lens by 10 degree if it is between 1 to 1.75 diopter cylinder move it by 5 degree if it is between 2 to 2.75 move it by 3 degrees if it is between 3 to 4.75 diopter cylinder move the trial lens by just 2 degrees and whenever it is more than 5 diopter cylinder you are using move it by 1 degree and then recheck the axis of the cylinder so this is about the jackson's cross cylinder now to refine the power of the cylinder suppose in this example the patient has accepted the cylinder of minus 0.75 at 90 degree then you want to refine the power now then you place the jackson's cross cylinder make sure that axis of the jackson's cross cylinder coincides with axis of the trial lens okay and then ask the patient to read the chart again flip it okay and ask patient which side is preferring suppose patient is preferring in this side means the red dots are coinciding with the axis of the cylinder in that case you will have to add minus 0.5 diopter cylinder to the lens okay means increase the power of the minus cylinder if the patient was preferring this side means the white dot side then you will have to reduce minus 0.5 diopter cylinder from the trial lens remember for each 0.5 diopter cylinder added you should add plus 0.25 diopter spherical lens to the trial frame to take the uh, circle of least confusion on the retina similarly if you are adding plus 0.5 diopter cylinder then you will have to add minus 0.25 diopter spherical to the trial frame again to take the circle of least confusion on the retina so this is how you find out the power of the lens and the second indication for use of jackson's cross cylinder is to confirm whether the patient needs cylindrical power or not in that case give the spherical correction which is needed suppose in this case minus 7 or even without any spherical correction place the jackson's cross cylinder at 180 degree okay at 90 degree as well as placing the jackson's cross cylinder at 45 degree and 135 degree if the patient is preferring any one of the axis it indicates that patient needs cylindrical power at that particular axis and again the process of refraction will be repeated as it will be done for other patients so hope this video on jackson's cross cylinder was useful to you if you find my videos useful to you please do subscribe to my channel press the bell icon for further notification please do like and share my videos thank you so much